doctor. Hey, doc. How are you? Good. How are you? Great, thank you. Hi, DS Kids. Why, hi, DS Kids, and welcome back to Screwball Science. I'm Dr. Criss Cross, and you probably remember one of my trusted associates, Dr. Hopscotch. Today, we're going to learn how to drink a soda can in 30 seconds. Doctor, this soda can's empty. Well, Dr. Hopscotch, first of all, remember, no drinking in the lab. And second of all, actually, in our Science with Jesus today, we're going to show how a soda can, or in our case, our sparkling water can, can hop. What? Soda cans can't jump? Well, they actually can with something that we call air pressure. Air pressure? Huh? Okay, Dr. Hopscotch, can you start our experiment by taking that can and putting it in one of these two mugs? Whatever you say, crisscross. Wait, safety first. All right, Dr. Hopscotch, now that we are really ready, can you please take this can and put it in one of the two mugs? Awesome. Now, Dr. Hopscotch, do you think this can can jump? Never gonna happen. We're gonna take the cups and put them one in front of the other. And you are going to take your breath, your air, and you're going to blow on the side of your cup, which is going to be our air pressure. And you're going to see your can hop. Okay, Doc. I'm going to move out of the way, and I'm going to let you use your air pressure to hop the can. tired of being wrong. I told you. That can, it just jumped. Yes. From one mug to another. Yes. That's amazing. This changes everything. Wait. This can didn't jump by itself. It had help. If I hadn't blown, it would still be sitting right there. You're right, Dr. Hopscotch. It needed your help. It needed you to change the air pressure next to the can in order to make the can hop from one mug to the other. Do you know what? This reminds me of our Bible story for today. A Bible story about how Jesus changed the life of a man as he went from town to town healing people, he saw a blind man, and he heals a blind man. You mean the same blind man that called out to Jesus to heal him? Exactly. Oh, I see what this is about. It isn't about making a can jump to the moon. It's about seeing how God can do amazing things. You're right, Dr. Hopscotch. This miracle of Jesus, of Jesus healing the blind man, is just another example of his love for us and how he can do incredible things. And God can do amazing things through us too. Kids, she can be taught. Can it, crisscross? Can I? Are I supposed to be the funny guy here? Hmm. Can you say goodbye, Hopscotch? I can do that. Goodbye, Hopscotch. Ah, bye.
Our Bible lesson today is called Jesus Heals a Blind Man, taken from Luke chapter 18, verses 35 to 43. Jesus was approaching the city of Jericho. A blind man was sitting by the side of the road begging. He heard many people going by and asked what was happening. He cried out, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people around told him to stop shouting and be quiet. Jesus stopped and told the people to bring the blind man to him. When the man was near, Jesus asked, What do you want me to do for you? He answered, Lord, I want to see. Jesus replied, then see, your faith has healed you. At once, he could see. He followed Jesus, giving thanks to God. The people around also started praising God for the miracle they had witnessed. Hi, BS Kids. Thank you so much for joining us again to hear about another miracle that Jesus performed. Today was about how Jesus healed the blind man. Did you notice in the story how there was a crowd, right? A crowd was moving along and it was probably really loud. And the blind man had to cry out. The blind man had to yell out several times in order for people to know he was looking for Jesus. And then what happened? Jesus heard his cry. Jesus answered his prayers by healing his blindness, by helping him see. But more importantly, Jesus healed him spiritually, right? He forgave his sins. And one day we will actually see the blind man in heaven. That's amazing. Do you know that we too can cry out? We can cry out and shout out to Jesus anytime that we're hurt or we have problems. And I promise you, Jesus will hear you. He'll hear me. He'll answer our prayers. And more importantly, he has saved us. He has washed us clean. One day we will be in heaven with him, perfect and holy. What an awesome day that will be. Remember our Bible passage for this series, John 20, verse 29. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Repeat after me. Blessed are those, Blessed are those. who have, to have not seen, not seen, and yet, and yet, have believed. Have believed. John 20, John 20, verse 29, verse 29. Kids, that was fantastic. Now let's fold our hands and bow our heads and let's thank Jesus that he allows us to cry out to him, that we know he hears us, and that we know he will answer our prayers. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for letting us cry out to you and come to you with our problems or whenever we're hurt or sick. Thank you for hearing our prayers and for answering our prayers. And most of all, thank you for your son Jesus who washed our sins away and for taking us to heaven someday. In your name we pray, amen. Can you give me an amen? Awesome.
Now I invite you to go to DivineSaviorChurch.com and click on DS Kids at Home or the Durrell Espanol page and click on DS Kids and Casa. There you will find our song for the month, Rescuer. And I invite you to play that in your home all week. I want you to pay super close attention, kids, to the middle of the song and see if you can pick out the words where it references our miracle for this week. The words will be, he is beauty for the blind man. Just like all the blind man needed was Jesus, it's a beautiful thing. All we need is Jesus too. You will also find our science experiment there. And kids, ask your mom and dad if they have an empty can. You will have so much fun. Ava and I laugh so hard trying to get the can jump from one cup to the other. And sometimes we really got the can flying high in the air. You will also find other resources for you and your family from devotionals to other opportunities. God bless you all this week as we put our trust in him knowing we can cry out to him. He will hear us and answer us. Till next time. Bye.